Good morning, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Sapporo on the island of Hokkaido in Japan. And for this trip, uh, this is actually a family trip. I'm on a family trip uh, with my wife Ying, our son, and then Ying's sisters. And so for this trip, we rented an apartment. And I'm gonna give you a full tour, but before I give you a full tour, oh, here comes the tram actually. It's a pretty good location right along the tram, uh, the tramway in Sapporo. Uh, but then before I give you, walk you through and show you the entire apartment, uh, we're gonna go have breakfast because we're hungry. It's time for breakfast and there's a place, it's uh, like a Japanese fast food restaurant. A Little bit of fresh snow this morning. Although I think it's like one degree, so it should be kind of melting soon. Yeah, Sapporo is a beautiful city and especially when you get like, when you get into the neighborhood, it's quiet, it's peaceful. You can see the mountains surrounding. I'll, I'll show you the view, but we have a pretty nice view from our, our apartment. Whew. Oh, that's what I'm getting right there. Welcome to Sukiya. This is a Japanese fast food chain. I can already smell the beef bowls. Oh yeah, it is nice and warm in here. I love the bar counter seating style of Japanese food. Um, this place specializes in beef, beef bowls, uh, beef shredded beef over rice. Thank you. I got the okay. I got the gyudon set, which is the beef bowl set. Uh, it's not quite as vibrantly shiny as it looks on the menu, but it still smells really good. The shredded, kind of like very thin beef comes with clam soup and then also an egg. Hey, what are you supposed to do with the egg exactly? You crack it. Okay, you crack the egg. Crack the egg into your bowl, raw egg. But then, do you dip or do you? I'm not totally sure if you dip or pour. <laughs> what, do you, what should I do? Pour it. Pour? I can't pour. All right, here it goes. Not totally sure if you're supposed to do this or not, but I will. Oh, yes. Or are you supposed to whip it up and then stir it? Oh, well, I don't know. Sorry. And then dip it. Stir up that, that yolkage. All right, perfect. Don't hold me fully accountable for that. I'm not totally sure if you're supposed to dump the raw egg on top or if you're supposed to stir up the egg and then just dip the beef. Uh, but this looks pretty good to me and it is like cooking on that rice. Mm. That's my kind of fast food. The beef is salty, slightly sweet. You taste the onions and then like you might not think about eating raw eggs, but like it's an amazing sauce. And it just slightly cooks, so it's not like completely, completely raw. It's just good. Okay, pickled ginger time. And I'm gonna load this up with some of the, the dry chili as well. All right. Oh, there's black sesame seeds in here too. Nice. I love that pickled ginger. You can just drink it, right? Clam miso soup. Mm. Good combination. I really like the, yeah, the added, the ginger really gives it a nice touch. Thank you, arigatou gozaimasu. All right, breakfast was pretty tasty, that's Japanese fast food, the ultimate of Japanese fast food. But yeah, it's it's pretty good. Okay, now I'm gonna we're gonna walk back to the apartment and I'm gonna give you a full tour of the apartment. And this is very quite a standard style Japanese apartment. Uh, there's a lot of like small to mid-sized level apartments, like the 10 story range. I think ours is like seven or eight stories. And then just like everywhere in Japan, it's like the ultimate convenient living and staying. There's convenience stores everywhere. You never have to walk far to get something from a convenience store. There's little restaurants like where we just ate breakfast. Uh, everything is all around. Uh, okay, let's go inside. All right, this is just a little entrance corridor area. And come on inside. We are on the seventh floor. Ooh. Oh, apple. 
Okay. Uh, <laughs> We're on the, the. I guess this is an eight floor story apartment, uh, which is, this is a very like typical size. We're on the seventh floor. Okay, welcome to our apartment. Shoes off at the entrance. Maybe take off the jacket. Hang it up here. Let me take off my socks as well. Okay, let's go inside. Uh, and this is a three bedroom apartment, but it's really spacious. And there's actually like space for 10, I think there's 10, 10 or 12 people can stay here. There's so many beds. Uh, there are five adults of us staying here. Busy destroying the house. And the living room is down the hall, but let's first start. There's the bathroom on this side and the bedroom, one of the bedrooms, we'll start with the bedroom. Welcome to the bedroom and something that you, okay, one thing that totally summarizes uh, Japanese living is like cozy. That's the like one word I can think of is because every, every place I've stayed in Japan, it's so cozy. Things are small, but then somehow that just makes it like warm and like friendly. Bed test time. Oh yeah, bed is amazing. I've been sleeping so comfortable and so like warm and cozy here. These are some of the, have to be some of the thickest blankets I've ever seen in my life. I don't think, <laughs> oh, travel pillow. <laughs> okay, but yeah, very comfortable beds. And then this is, this is a bedroom. The only kind of like strange thing is that the other bedroom, which is over here is connected to this bedroom. So you have to walk through this bedroom to get to this bedroom. The entire bedroom is bunk bed, uh, but again, the coziness, you can never underestimate the Japanese coziness. And look at the thickness of these blankets as well. This is where Ying's sister slept. Now then across the hallway, right over to this side, this is the, the bathroom. There's just one, the only, okay, the only thing is there's like three bedrooms. You can have a bunch of people staying here, but there's only one bathroom. But the benefit though, even though it's only one bathroom, uh, it's separated so the shower is in here and then the toilet is over here. So one person can be showering while one person is using the toilet. Okay, toilet. You just cannot go wrong with the Japanese toilet, the Japanese toilet seat. You can feel the, the warmth of that toilet seat. Oh, I love Japanese toilets. And then the shower over here is on this side. Oh, first the sink though. This is the the sink. Uh, it is a sink. <laughs> so same thing with the toilet. I also love Japanese showers because they make it, it's like, again, it's like cozy and comfortable. Uh, but there's a tub here and we had a similar setup. I remember at a, when we rented an apartment in Tokyo. The entire bathroom is a wet bathroom. So if you close the door, then everything gets wet in the shower, but there's a tub and the actual like shower section is where you just stand. And I think you can even like sit uh, because you can see the, the sprayer has two different levels. You can just turn it on. You can even set it digitally, the temperature. I don't even know how it fully all works, but yeah, it's amazing. You got like hot, fresh water coming at you. You can sit down as you shower. Uh, nobody has like relaxation down like Japanese. Okay. I think that's all there is to show you in the bathroom, but again, the geniusness of Japanese toilets and showers, yeah, you will, you will love it. Oh, hi, Micah. <laughs> um, and walk outside down the hallway. This is the main living room. This is the main space. There's the, the kitchen, the dining room all in one, and then this is just the living room, the, the place to hang out and to sit and relax. Ah, not the most comfortable sofa you'll, you'll ever sit on, but not bad. Uh, and they, these might even fold out. Well, you could definitely sleep on it. Yeah, it would be comfortable to sleep on. And then I gotta show you the view from the balcony. Ooh, yeah, that cold breeze. Oh, that's cold on my feet. One of the best things about this apartment is the view on the balcony. Got the mountains surrounding, just covered, blanketed in snow. Uh, and then, yeah, uh, again, the location of this apartment is great because it's right along the monorail, the tramway station road. <sighs> that fresh air, though, is wonderful. Come back inside. My feet are, are officially completely frozen. Oh, forgot this door. <laughs> okay. Close the door, it's cold. Oh yeah, it is warm and toasty in here. And over on this side of the living room, this is a desk here that I've been sitting at. This is where I've been working. This is where I've been sitting. This is where I've been editing videos. Right next to the heater, which is pushing warm air right here. This is the perfect place to sit. The only thing is it makes you kind of sleepy because it's so warm and toasty here. 
And then back here, finally this room, I think it's just like a, like a storeroom, just like an empty space room. You could maybe put a bicycle here, you could put some kind of outdoorsy type of stuff, but yeah, just a nice room. Final main room to show you is the kitchen, which is connected to the living room over to the right hand side. Kitchen is very spacious and very nice, and I love this big wooden table that with benches that's in the middle for the dining room. Something that will kind of throw you off about the sink, both in the bathroom and the kitchen, is in, to turn it on, you actually press it down instead of pulling it up. Microwave is on the top, and then the fridge. I think I have, oh yeah, I still have my bottle of, of sparkling water. Japan for sure has some of the best sparkling water that I've ever had. I love the sparkling water in Japan. Ah, it's just like, it's so sparkling. It like just burns going down. It's amazing. I love it. There's a toaster oven. There's a rice cooker. There's a kettle, a water boiler. And then, <laughs> okay, this has to be one of the worst inventions that I have seen. And okay, let me just tell you, okay, there's instant coffee. I, I, I love coffee. I'm not so huge on instant coffee, but if you love instant coffee, and people, I don't, I don't mind, you know, like uh, instant coffee, it's okay. But this is a barista Nescafe instant coffee maker or like espresso, instant coffee espresso machine. I bring my own bag of fresh coffee and then I, I drip coffee, no hate at all to instant coffee, but an instant coffee barista espresso machine, doesn't that kind of defeat the purpose of instant coffee? <laughs> no. <laughs> but okay, I do have to admit it is better actually than uh, just taking the instant coffee and stirring it in instantly in your cup, um, instantly making it in the machine. I think it does add a little bit of like frothiness and maybe the steam. <laughs> it's actually not that terrible, but no. Finally, there is one more bedroom to the right hand side of the kitchen. Uh, this is another bedroom. There's two full beds in here as well. Just another simple bedroom. That brings us to the end of this Japanese apartment, spacious big apartment tour in Sapporo, Hokkaido, Japan. Uh, again, this is one of the biggest, probably, yeah, for sure the biggest apartment and the most spacious apartment I've ever stayed at. We paid exactly, let me just, I just had it on my phone. We paid uh, exactly 237 US dollars per night. Uh, so with five adults, one child, six people, uh, that's pretty good price and very affordable for Japan and very worth it, I think, because you have so much space, you have so much extra space, you have a kitchen, you can do everything here. But I think this is a, an ideal place to stay, ideal accommodation. Uh, and this would be, I mean, we're renting it short term, but this would be similar to something you could rent long term if you wanted to, if you lived in Japan, if you are moving to Japan. And this has been my first visit to Sapporo in Hokkaido, and it's been an amazing trip. I've loved it, even though it's been freezing cold. Okay, so that's it for this video. Uh, I'll have more videos in the description box that you can check out. I did a review of uh, a Tokyo apartment as well. And make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna be publishing more apartment reviews, hotel reviews, uh, and travel tips on this channel, Mark Abroad. So uh, thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe for lots more videos. And I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye from Sapporo and see you on the next video.